This summer, the World Cup is coming to London. The Paddy Power Canifa Football World Cup, that is. For those of you that don't know, Canifa is a confederation of nations not affiliated with FIFA. Those countries include the displaced people of Tibet who have been shunned by both FIFA and China, Matabele Land of Zimbabwe, and of course, the Northern South Koreans of Japan. On May 31st, the Paddy Power sponsor Canifa World Football Cup kicks off in London. We love the idea of a global sporting event with Champions the Underdog. I'm Paddy Power, and this is Canifa! Paddy, welcome back. How was Tibet? Ready for trip two? Oh, Tibet was, it was amazing. I just, I got in touch with myself. It was like, I've kind of spiritually matured or something. It's like, oh, I just, I, I've changed. I mean, I, like, I'm, I'm happy to stay off the, the beaten track of commercialism and, you know, but anyway, look, where are we off to next time? Tokyo, home of uh, Nintendo, Pokemon, um, sex robots. I've got you some great accommodation sorted. Amazing, let's do it. So 19 hours traveling, um, but fair play to Office Bella for once. He sorted out the hotel looks really nice, but see you in the morning. <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake. First impression of Tokyo, just like home to be honest. I feel like I could stay here for a while. We're here to meet the United Koreans of Japan based in Tokyo. This nationality is made up of displaced North and South Koreans who now regard Japan as their home. The word Zainichi itself means staying in Japan and the population amounts to around 900,000 people. It's not far off the population of Dublin. But before we meet the players, we're going to explore the city in which they are based. I can't believe this is legal, if it is in fact legal. We have our tickets to Robot Show. Come on, come on. It's like you're walking in a comic book. Half the people, all these Americans walking around, walking, yeah? they're all off their heads on something. I'd say they're all doing tablets and all sorts. Vodka and tonic in a light bulb. It's meant to be enlightening. <laughs> like I just went on a trip without taking drugs. That was amazing. It was like awful, but brilliant at the same time. Uh, yeah, the two of the lads, one just run up into the back of the other one and drove up his, uh, his rear end. There's no such thing as a Paddy Power event with no mishap. If that's all that happens today, we've done well. Just finishing the Korean barbecue for lunch, we've had ox bone and ox tongue in the soup. We've had pig's bowel, and we've also had chicken wings. So, I think I'm gonna go vegetarian. Within Tokyo, the Zanichi Koreans have their own district, their own community, their own cuisine, and their own football team. Korean town has become a popular haunt with the younger generations of Japanese citizens, particularly for their interest in K-pop pop stars who regularly visit and perform in the area. We met a couple of the players who'll be representing United Koreans in London this summer and asked a bit about their backgrounds and their thoughts ahead of the tournament. We're here on a very dark and dreary evening in FC Korea's training ground. I'm here with the captain of FC Korea, Shing Young Gi, who is here to tell us a little bit about Kanifa. He'll be playing, for, playing in the Kanifa World Cup over in London in June. Are there difficulties as a Saichi Korean in Japan growing up and living here? In day-to-day -day life, we don't have many difficulties. But Korean schools don't have the support of the Japanese government, so it can be difficult taking qualifications here in Japan. Sometimes Japanese people discriminate against us and use hate speech. That can be hard. I don't know, have you been to London before? And if not, what are you most looking forward to about going to London for the Kanifa World Cup? I'm excited to go to London because it's my first trip to Europe. 
I've seen many pictures of London on television programmes. It's also the place for football, so I'm excited. Joined now by Jay Kwang Young, a midfielder for FC Korea. And I want to ask you, if you don't mind, what does it mean for you playing in the Kanifa World Cup? It's a great honour for me to participate in London. I'm one of a minority here in Japan as a Zainichi Korean. It's very important for us to take part in the Kanifa International Tournament. In your opinion, who is the greatest player of all time? West Fulham. Yeah, agree. Well done. Good answer. Could you tell me what you learnt about the North Korean culture and Kim Jong-un here when you were growing up? <laughs> That's a difficult question for me, as I've been to North Korea as a football player. North Korea is a different image to the Japanese perception. For me, it's my country and I love North Korea. How will your team do in the tournament? Will you win? Champion. 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 Okay, champion. Champion. <laughs> I understand that one, that's fine. <laughs>Football has been the bridge between our countries, Japan, North and South Korea. North Korea and Japan don't have great relations. Every time news about North Korea is broadcast, the atmosphere gets worse. I don't have the rights that Japanese people have. I'm a Zainichi Korean and a North Korean passport holder, so it's very difficult for me. What's it like travelling on a North Korean passport? Every time I visit a country, I have to use a visa. Even with a visa, I'm always stopped by customs because they have never seen a North Korean passport before. Even though I was a professional player, I could not visit the USA. Can you explain how proud you were to play at the 2010 World Cup in South Africa? Since I started playing football from six years old, it's been my dream to play in the FIFA World Cup. So it was very exciting walking onto the pitch at the South Africa World Cup. After that, the highs of uh, Brazil, then there was the lows of yeah, the Portugal game, yeah. which was tough. The report in the, in the, around the world was that when the North Korean team went home, there was a lot of criticism and uh, there was some kind of sanctions against some of the team for, the, for their performance. Is, is that true? And did you hear what, what, what might have happened? I know you weren't there in North Korea, but did you hear what might have happened to the squad? It was a miserable game. I played as hard as I could, so I don't regret anything. The articles in the Western media that players were sent to the mines are not true. The goalkeeper that played with me is still the national team's goalkeeper. He wouldn't be if he was sent to the mines. So, the most famous North Korean in the world is Kim Jong-un. I'm just wondering, what does he mean to you? He's a young leader and he's very interested in football and supports the teams in his country. But the Western media is very negative about him. I hope that more positive news will reach the world. The Hanami Blossom Festival is a public holiday here in Japan. And what basically happens is people gather in parks under these pink blossom trees and they have picnics and they picnic all day and sometimes into the night. But there's huge competition to get the best spots beneath the best trees. And sometimes apparently people queue up days in advance to get that number one spot. Hanami is a very important festival for the Japanese people. And the cherry blossoms uh, is the symbol of the uh, spring. For example, they, uh, they do the hanami even in the night time, in the evening. So they, uh, if uh, the company people want to do the hanami, uh, they um, 
off the, uh, for example, the afternoon and uh, keep the place and uh, drink sake, uh, drink too much. When uh, the night time is uh, still uh, cool at that season, so they you drink sake uh, under the trees and after that they go to the uh, bar and drink more. <laughs> A week in Japan done, and I have to tell you, this place is mad. Now, it's good mad, it's busy, it's really fast paced, but in a funny way, once you get into the rhythm of the pace, it's kind of easy. Food-wise, we went a bit Korean, a bit kind of authentic Korean on the food. I've had like pig's bowl, a lot of ox tongue, a bit of pig forehead, lots of entrails, and I have to say, I'm kind of looking forward to a bit of bacon and cabbage when I get home, to be honest. I think the football team might go very close to the FIFA World Cup. They're very, very confident. Some good players watch them train. My final thought on Japan, it's been an experience that I will never forget. Sayonara. For information on how to buy tickets for the tournament, go to news.paddypower.com forward slash Kanifa. Should have only nine quid.